Gaffer will start by reflecting on Tuesday night. Denied a win against League One opposition by a late wonder goal, really. What positives have you taken away from that game? Certainly the first half display was really refreshing, aggressive on the front foot, um, passed it well. There's good organisation on the pitch, you know, led by you know, the leaders on, on that uh, pitch at the time. And um, yeah, we fully deserved to go in 2-0 up. Um, but we've got to prove to be durable enough as, as individuals and the squad to be able to play at such high tempo for, for 90 minutes. And we just fell away at the end. I mean, it's a fantastic equalising goal, you know, and we conceded the first from uh, being down to 10 men in the build-up of their attack. How do you go about challenging the players to perform like that over 90 minutes? Is it a fitness issue? Is it something else? You know, what can we do to get that level of performance on a, a longer basis? Mm. Uh, well, the, 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 we're looking at all factors really. Um, Fitness-wise, we've been back five months now, so if we're not durable enough to play 90 minutes, there's a, there's a concern then. Um, less on the, on the physical side, because I know the work can be taken at the club, but, uh, but more on the mental side. You know, and being able to cope with a little bit of stress in games, and so, um, but you judged on that. And uh, five months in, I'd like to think uh, they're all capable of playing an hour and a half with with the football. Is Chesterfield at home on Saturday. What sort of challenge are they going to pose? They're a very good team. You know, good passing team up there. And, and top of the charts, I think uh, possession, but uh, in terms of possession, um, good at building play up. But the, yeah, there's uh, fluidity about them. Uh, attractive team to watch. They've certainly been able to find the back of the net away from home as well. In particular, Paddy Madden and Will Grigg up front, two real goal scorers at the top of the pitch. How do we go about nullifying the threat that those two pose and, and the whole team pose? Well, we'll, we'll try and inform uh, the, the team of their patterns of play and, and how they uh, deal with set pieces and and um, how they are an attacking threat. It's very obvious, but um, you know, come Saturday, we, we just we don't want to take a backward step and, and just give them 90% possession. And we're at home, that won't help the atmosphere. You know, we've we've got to be on the front foot as much as possible. Um, you know, and uh, and relish the moment you know and get stuck into the to the moment of the game and and uh, immerse ourselves in the battle we brought eno ento to a club in on tuesday he made a great start to life here getting his first goal he spoke after the game about how welcome he's been made to feel here in and around the place is that something that fills you with a lot of pride knowing the work that's gone into creating that environment for new players yeah i think it happens over years you know the stability of the club and you know I like to think I brought in really good people that you know we're a team here off the pitch and we're doing our best to create a good culture at the club and and for for player, new players to come in and and appreciate that warmth straight away um it does mean a, a, a great deal to you especially now you know when we we want to get the wins we want to climb the table um at least it, it confirms that we're doing something right um we just want to, everyone to sort of embrace it now and and um, I think most people are happy here, but we don't want that then turning to be too comfy and they get the slippers on and, and um, just think they're going to stay no matter what. You know, we've got a big run up to, to the window now and we want to prove that, want players to prove that they're durable enough and hungry enough to, to play with intensity. It's an interesting career path he's taken really, spending three years over in America, having come back to Derby. Um, We've also signed Toby Sims in the past from America. Is that like an area that we've looked at in particular in terms of bringing players in? Because we seem to have had a, a degree of success doing that. Well, yeah, and uh, Belly was in America before yeah. coming back to Tamworth. So there's a lot of talented players now that um, go that route uh, through um, scholarships in America. And yeah, we I think once because we've done a couple, had a couple of good lads come come back over now. Um, teams over there and players over there uh, and agents are aware that you know we've, we've delved, delved into that market and we're open to anything as a club you know and if it means we're getting hungry players a point to prove then yeah we'll, we'll keep it exploring it and just on team news it we found out that ellis taylor's going to miss a good few weeks with a quad injury just how much of a blow is that going to be to us going forward yeah it is a blow i think he's been at least in the, you know the top three players for us every single week um, and every day in training you know have been fantastic you know what a talent and you know, we'll really miss him and uh, I had a chat with him the other night and I said as such you know it's a, it's a blow but it's up to someone else to 
prove their worth now and, and to step into the breach and make sure that he's not missed too much. And going the other way, is there any players edging closer to full fitness and how far is Matty Daly in particular away from a return? Well, he's had an injection this week. We're hoping he, you know, he can pull through for Saturday. If not, should be the next week. But, um, you know, he's obviously another influential player um, that we have been missing. So it'd be good to get him back. Thank you. Cheers.